Hi guys, I'm going to show you how I make my lights flash. I found this neat little circuit board, it's called a Chase 4. I bought it from uh, Riga. I've wrote it down on the paper so you can see. Riga.co.uk, Chase 4. Now, I make um, lighting displays, things like Christmas lights or for shop fitting. Um, and you just want to be able to make them flash really slowly or fast or whatever. Um, it's got a little speed dial on it, so when you use it, let's, you'll have to forgive me for the poor conditions. I'm on, recording on my phone in the workshop. There's a little black pot just there with a white dot. You can just make out the white dot. It's got a little screwdriver slot. You can adjust the speed. It does the chasing. It's designed... Uh, to chase a maximum of four channels or lights depending on the load um, but it's got these little solder pads on the bottom which this is also really handy can you see the shiny bits just above my thumb if you bridge them out that's where you choose what you want it to flash whether it be four lights three lights or two lights so if you've got like uh, traffic lights uh, that you you're making in a display which I've done before um, and you just want it to flash like one two three uh, this little circuit board of tricks does the job which is nice and easy takes all the hard work out of it for me so what I've done is I've rigged one up here because I've got a couple um, with the wires already in so you can see and what I've done is these little fly leads go to the little solder pads so I can show you quickly without having to get my soldering iron out I just twist the wires together and it'd be as if I made the connection um, underneath my solder line. Uh, here you can see the three, four, sorry, black wires and a the blue. They go to my four light bulbs, my little test rig there that I use for testing. Um, and then there's just the power in, just 230 volt straight in there, live and neutral. It's got a little fuse there for in case you put too much on, there's a problem, it'll blow. Right, at the moment, I've twisted them two together. I think that's the four lights should start chasing. And as you can see, I've wedged a screwdriver, because I'm trying to do this one-handed, in the um, speed control. Let me turn on. Here we go. There's a four light bulbs flashing. And that speed is in the middle on the speed control. What I should be able to do now for you is speed it up. If I do it slowly, you can see the speed that it can do. Right, that's all the way. That's the fastest it'll flash. And then I turn it down slowly. When I get to just past halfway, it starts to take a long time. So I don't know how long it actually takes without sitting, sitting down here and waiting, but it, it can be a real slow chase as well if you need it to be. Like I say, it's a real handy little bit of kit really, but I've had a few people asking me how I do it, and I thought I'd just show you so other people have the same idea, especially being close to Christmas, and uh, people like to make their own little Christmas light displays, and these are perfect for that. What I'll do is I'll turn the power off, if, excuse me a second, and if I break the wires and connect a different pair together, I'm just going to put my phone down, sorry. Right, now I've bridged a different two wires together. So if I turn on now, we should have a different number of lights flashing. I can't remember which colours I connected where. Here we go. Just three. Let me speed it. I'm speeding up on the screwdriver. Zoom out a bit so you can see it. That's the three. So that's the one I've done on the traffic lights before. And all I did was slow it down. Which is quite nice. Right, I'm going to turn that off and show you it doing two. Just put the phone down again. Right, 
turn on again for you. Now, zoom out again. It's just two. So if you've only got two lights you want to flash. Let me speed it up for you. Look at that, there you go. That's as fast as it goes, it's pretty mad. Something like that, you start to see the effect. Like that. Obviously this is an OEM product from Riga, so it only comes as a circuit board. Uh, let me go back over here, the light levels are pretty naff in here, so you to bear with me. Pick it up. There we go, you can sort of see it. Just a circuit board. It's got four holes in the corners. One, two, three, four. Um, so you can just bolt it down in a little box because um, obviously you wouldn't want to go poking your fingers in there because it is 230 volt there we go, you can see that a bit better there with a bit more light not very focused um, if anyone wants a better video or it doing some you know, just doing some on its own I don't mind doing another little video um, I've got another little board that I bought from them the other day which I might get around to making a video and showing you it does a little bit more than this for the person that needs a little bit more control um, the idea of this is you just connect it up, set the speed, and then every time you turn on, whatever it is you're turning on, it'll just do what you want it to do. Yeah, brilliant. Appreciate if you rate my video and put some good comments. First one I've ever done, just thought I'd show you. Thank you very much for watching.